All right, yeah, here we go. We are starting, and today, honestly, the world of ambush and official video game stuff. What am I talking about? The world is confusing. We got a lot kind of going on, but it's like ambush and preordained festivities are extremely mingled today. So let's just start it. Today is December 22nd. Yeah, everyone, this is the double two. That's meaningful if you use a 10 base number. And Maiku Wadaharu is here saying that things I couldn't say in the Steam gift message. All right. I, as you can see, the thing was red. I've never even opened this up. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I hope you don't mind me making a fool of myself in this video for you. Please screen it before you decide whether or not you want to make it public. Um... I guess I'll play it, and if I edit this out, I'll edit it out. Here we go. Ooh, seven minutes. Okay, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me over the engine. I can hear you fine. But uh, I just want to make this video literally last second. My gifts have already been sent. Got an email confirmation just a few minutes ago. I'm on my way home from work. And, uh, man... It's been over a decade since I first saw your videos. And yet, you're still watching. It all started with a curiosity about this remix I heard from uh, various quotes you made on your Nozumi Man videos turned into a song. And from that, <laughs> here we are. Uh, yeah, with the... Uh, I first saw your videos with the uh, distorted travesty and you playing the most unfun piece of crap you played in memory. Those who have seen the TV Tropes page know what I'm talking about. But man, <laughs> what a decade, huh? Yeah. So much stuff, so many games changing your career, making Let's Plays your full-time career through Patreons. Yeah, that still sounds fake, honestly. And, wow, it's just... I'm at a loss for words, and that happens a lot to me with my autism, so you'll forgive me, but... <laughs> if I drift off. But yeah. Everyone being so open with our mental stuff this and year. This it's wild. Year? If I remember correctly, the ninth time we're doing the Advent Christmas thing. That also is mean, wild. What started out as just a little small thing has blown up into so many people wanting to give you gifts and these game ambushes. <laughs> I love what Fusion Warrior is doing, by the way. <laughs> but yeah. And I know I've not been very active in recent years. I've explained why privately. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who want to know, this is not the reason. But yeah, hopefully I'll get active again soon, maybe. I don't know at this point in time in my life. Yeah. I just this is really, really funny. wanted you to... Know that this, this quote is really good. You're appreciated by a massive amount of people, and I know, and I know you probably don't want me saying this, but I know you're reaching a certain milestone in a few months, and maybe, maybe at that point in time, you might want to become, might want to think about it. And uh, make your schedule a little bit more uh, lenient on yourself because you put out like three or four videos on a regular basis, and somehow, you know, I have some adult re who's reached a certain milestone. He's talking about I my birthday. I am concerned about your well-being and how it's going to affect you 
in the years to come. I'm gonna be the big 4 So, maybe just go a little easier on yourself. After, you know, you finish Copy Kitty or had time, just maybe two videos. I know that this has been your your career for the last uh, few years, and this is all you've been doing, but you have people, the majority of the fan base is going to be extremely understandable and can see reasons why you'd want to, you know, ease up a bit. I mean, there's going to be that 1% or less than 1% that's part of the toxic fan base that I don't really want to get into right now. They'll be like, how dare you? I gave you all of this money for you to play games and keep me entertained for hours on end. But yeah, to hell with them. But in all seriousness, I don't think those exist. You might want to just at this point ease up, relax a little bit. Don't overexert yourself. See, the issue here, I, I don't know. Now, I'm, I'm not like a professional ace player, so I can't what? fully understand what it all, it all entails for you. But I'm pretty sure it, there's, it's never ending. You know, take some time off in the day. Just relax, man. But yeah, I, I should probably shut up about that. Anyway, I really want you to have the best Christmas so far, you know? You're, you're one of those people that I, I actually care about in some way. I know I probably should have phrased that better. It's the autism again. I always want to try to say something from the heart, and it usually doesn't come out the way I intend it to, so please forgive me on that. Bear with me. But in all seriousness, I, I miss being active in the talk house. I miss being able to get on the Patapon Discord and play games with, you know, Mild Hedgefox, Mick Fire, Susie, uh, Minox, and all those folks. So, I think this video is for them too. At least if you choose to make it public and have it made a complete fool of myself. You did not make a fool of yourself at all. That's bound to happen whether I intend it or not. But anyway, have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> I'll try. And uh, until next time. Like, like if, uh, <laughs> about that last thing I said, if you haven't seen my warning video, yeah, it's going to be stormy here the next three days or so. So, I don't know how that's going to be like. But no, yeah, like, so thank you for just letting yourself speak from the heart like that. Like, I do extremely appreciate it. But I feel like there's something I need to... Uh, this is not... I, I feel like this message is very representative to a type of message I receive a lot, which is very caring and from the heart. But, like, people say that, hey, you make three videos a day. Like, what up with that? But you, you have to realize, everyone has to realize, even though it's my job, quote-unquote italics, it is still my primary hobby. If I don't make video... I end up just kind of sitting there thinking, you know what, <laughs> I kind of want to do a video. <laughs> like, there are certain games sometimes where I get kind of tired, but overall, that is what I do. I, I have fun with the whole process of, you know, recording, playing a game, and sharing my experiences. And also, you know, I like the, if sometime repetitive, but, you know, I like the actions of putting the video together, you know, balancing the audio, 
finding out what I should edit. And uh, like to me, the whole process is satisfying. And it's the main thing I want to do as a hobby. If anything, yeah, you know, I, I am uh, growing older. The biggest change is that once upon a time, I would squish everything in the morning. And like by noon, I'd be done. And it's like, yep, yeah, all right, all right. And then I do something else. Nowadays, I tend to let it slide into the afternoon a little bit. And I'm extremely comfortable with that. So that's mostly what's been happening, if anything. So I don't know. It's kind of a hard thing to talk about. I, I think I will absolutely leave the whole thing in, in the video. I think it's important. I think you have very good things to say and i don't mean that because they're complimenting me but i feel like what you say echoes what a lot of people want to say and uh yeah so so thank you and yeah you got a, a left waiting in the ambush zone but also i got this little thing that popped up this morning again it's in red so i so i haven't even looked at it. So, Rixie, you know how I said I would be making anything for the holidays this year? I lied, says Airman inside his Wily Saucer from Magmammal. This is the part where I would giving the link to a Smebex level I made with some help from Angel, and also this PM would have been sent on the 30th. It's like a DLC ambush or something, so it's not interfered with the whole game as post game. Great timing, but Angel and I both got sidetracked like five different things each, and at this point, we're probably not going to have enough time to actually finish the level before I get back to A2XT2 and other projects in January. So here's Lagbus instead. Lagbus? It's the bus of lag. Whoa, that looks really neat. I can see how it was done, and it's pretty simple, but oh, the effect is really neat. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, all right, I have read your PS. Uh, I appreciate it. That looks really cool. Like, that is a really neat effect. It's like, pshhh. I dig it. Every time my comic gets acknowledged, I still get not quite goosebumps, but halfway there. Ah, Rixie, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. Given the timing of everything... Maybe a uh, Smebex level, like after the whole uh, adventure where the pose game is the whole game. M maybe, maybe it's for this. Maybe things align like this for a reason. All right, so I'm gonna do Maiku and Waifu. Uh, Maiku's married now. Uh, like first, and then we'll scroll through the rest as normal. Oh, cow. So you just heard the man speak, so you can imagine I'm using his voice. I hope you'll enjoy this with friends who trust to be on their best behavior. Joyeux Noël from the both of us. That means Merry Christmas, in case you didn't know. P.S. had a physical gift, but no dollar signs to ship it. Disappointed face. Best wishes, my and wife. Well, okay. I mean, that's okay. I thought a message you sent me was very powerful. And, I mean, so you had a physical gift. I'm assuming you still have it. So maybe you'll find a way to send it over in a time when things are a little bit more preposterous. I can be very patient. Jackbox Party Quinn Pack. So it's like five Jackboxes? Yeah. It defies the laws of science, but we smash all the party games from the Jackbox Party Pack. Jackbox Party Packs, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and to one impossibly fun collection. There's 25 hilarious party games, including You Don't Know Jack, Fibbage, Drawful, Quiplash, Trivia Murder Party, Spidey Internet, Madverse, and the ellipses implies there are more. So put that on your face and book it. <laughs> no sense. <laughs> <coughs> I still can't super laugh. I can laugh a little bit, but it still tickles a cough bone. All right, Junior637. We're moving on to the ambushes now. Tag your inner archives appropriately. Sir Rao of the Fraternal Order of Uproarious Laughter, the good old foul. Surprise, before your eyes wasn't my only game this year. Saw this game and remembered how much you liked a hand time. 
which I'm playing right now, this definitely has those vibes. Enjoy. Is that the game that's like, well, we'll see. We'll look at the trailer later in a few minutes. Demon Turb. That definitely rings a bell. 3D platformer with attitude. Join Biebs and her ambitious goal to take over the Demon Turbs, becoming Demon Queen herself. Jump, spin, punch. Your way across the turfs with unique mechanics like momentum driven combat and self placed checkpoints. Time to face Demon King head on. Look at that little bird thing. That's. Is that a demon? Like this little guy? This is like green and with glasses. Uh, well, here's the fusion warrior post. Lava, 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 lava. I feel it's missing a lava. Is it just me? Lava, 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 lava. I don't know. I don't remember the original quote anymore. Anyway, I want to beat a cat. <laughs> just even has a gun, even has a red cape. It's just <laughs> imagination here. Is running wild. I want to be the cat. It's a challenging roguelite. Wait, roguelite? Platformer inspired by I want to be the guy fan games. Fight against famous video game characters, turn into cats, and try to claim the cat as the ultimate title. Roguelite? A roguelike I want to be the? With. Okay, I mean, that seems different. I wonder how well that works as a concept. Haiku the robot, Ben, just sent this over here. It's the old Ben's Rao Cow. I've been watching her videos daily for as long as I've been putting videos out and have been mostly quiet. But this year I thought I'd come to Discord as well as give you a little gift. Best wishes, Ben. I remember earlier this year hearing about Haiku the robot. And I'm going, I, 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 I thought it looked really neat. And now I own it. Delve into the depths of a mechanical world in this cute adventure exploration game. Exploring fighting a land full of corrupt robots and machinery. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. All while seeking answers to the mysteries around you. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't know. And there's something about the look, like, very Game Boy here. It's pre read. It's like Rad with an E instead. And Flum Man is here. He's back. He's gonna kick some tail. One of the best roguelites from before the genre turned into poop. Uh, addictive and has a wonderful ost. And Flubman's here with FTL, Faster Than Light, and the soundtrack. It has both of those things. <laughs> See, this includes two items, the two things that are in the banner. Faster Than Life, I've definitely heard. Like, there was a part where I feel like a lot of the internet was playing it. It had a lot of things to say about it. Oh, and EDF has more DLC. By the way, DLC missions in 5 are notoriously mean. So this is Mission Pack 2. is pure hell, bottomless despair, all just for EDF LE. Unseen despair means to say, uh, man, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you have to repeat despair in the, your two-second blurbs, uh, two, ah, two-sentence blurb, I feel like, you're saying something. <laughs> DKC317 has a thing here. Okay, okay, yeah. No, that does feed the meter. Hey there, Rao Cow. It's the arch. You have to re Rao Cow weird, though. Here's a neat gift that is for you. Hope you enjoy this collection. Turtle as a present. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, that fits. That is the Ninja Turtle theme song from the old cartoon. Is one of the best, like, melody in the whole entire universe. And it was made for a commercial show. Like, I think that is wild. And then another says, I think it makes sense. So yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga. I haven't heard about this. It looks really rad. And honestly, there's something in the bucket that could really use, like I had an idea, that could really use owning the Kelbunga collection, so now I do. Now everyone's just kind of buying things that I can absolutely use, and that's a great feeling. Anyway, that thing, that name, contains 13 prior release classic games. This collection is a great place for gamers to experience these popular titles on stream, and Steam, I mean, and my, there's like things like, like manuals and whatnot, like it is a... From what I've heard, from the little I've seen, it is a very complete and very impressive little collection that comes with emulator, emulated versions of old games, including Game Boy games. 
And EDF is back. It's kind of a weird little spacing that happened here. Five eggs the enemy is more fun to shoot by adding dismemberment and gore effect. It also has the better script, cooler enemies, better qual, and weapon upgrades. It's EDF 5 Mission Pack 1. Answer challenge. The road to hell. No despair. Why does it end with a colon? So the life forms, the primer slam the challenge down to any elite EDF soldier. Colin. Okay. You know, you have fun with that. 411 has better class balancing, voice acting, and throws larger swarms of enemies at you. Uh, that's for the mission pack 2 extreme battle of 4.1. Alright. Okay, so here it is split in missions. So I'm thinking this might be a mission-based game then, which I was wondering about the other day. Okay, so in my perfect world, we'll play both 4.1 and 5, uh, but no one can force me to play anything. My way of choosing games now has become absolutely ridiculous. Prepare challenge 26, the most intense missions the EDF has ever faced up until EDF 5. <laughs> All right. They really are. They are really putting the accent on difficulty here. Like they are. That that is like what their whole pitch is about. And Spinch. I have no idea what this is. The name is nonsense, and uh, the box art here looks absolutely amazing. That guy if is here saying, "My good man, nothing else." At least I'm thematically consistent. All right, so you're back with this little uh, arboreal mess. Transcend the material realm and assume your true form as Spinch, a hi hyper agile organism consumed by the quest to rescue a litter of its missing offspring and the side scrolling psychedelic platformer from the mind of award winning Canadian cartoonist Jesse Jacobs. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we will be looking at trailers, so I will be looking at that trailer. This is gonna be a long video. I would apologize for that, but like, what? Is, look at all oh, these games. But like, I'm not gonna be looking at everything. I'm not gonna like look at anything EDF. And I didn't. Oh wait, I want to be the cat. No, I did find that. No, I think I found something for everything. Well, let's just press the X here and get started. So I've already watched this one. As the official trailer, I've seen that some time ago, but I prefer to watch launch trailers for these because these might be closer to how the game actually looks like. Okay, that is what I remembered. Yeah, it's a 3D uh, platform game, but like you're using a 2D sprite in a 3D world. Uh, that spin move <laughs> looks really weird. Uh, oh, I really love her style though. What, and you can be a wheel? Sure, why not? This is absolutely wild looking. Looks so bored though. Oh, there we go. Activity cars. I don't know what that is. Uh, this looks super rad. Like, it's just flat out. There's a green world. Uh, so that's exciting. Bar sport. What? A uh, light bar. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> I guess it's because it's the it's the trailer for the PS5 and PS4. So they're referring to things on the PS ecosystem I don't know about. That's fine. I whoa, look at that pig. This looks super cool. The vibe is super amazing. You have an exhaustion meter, I don't know about that. It's a dragon. Maybe. This looks super cool. Like it's just yeah. No. Demon Turf looks absolutely wild. It absolutely looks like something I want to play. And then your 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 image there is kind of tweeting around. They're just going like, brr, brr, just like wiggling. Peak platforming says Ten New Key Tussle. Well, Mario 64 successor. There's been successors still that, like, uh, that's that's a weird thing to state. But no, yeah, that looks absolutely fantastic and i own that game now didn't expect i want to be the cat to find a trailer but i did so i did need to put i want to be the cat in uh quotes though otherwise I was looking for other things so roguelite you only have 100 lives okay fair enough 
sounds like a nightmare, but sure. Procedural world. So, it is a procedural, I want to be the guy. I am genuinely curious to know how well that works. But at the same time, I don't know if I have experience. Like, so, my history with I want to be the games is I played I want to be the guy when it was brand new. And I got annoyed at the part where you're on, like, Zelda 1 for one screen, and I gave up. <laughs> so... Like, I don't know if I'd be ready for something like that. Like, I, because it's procedural, like, what's the difficulty like? Like, looking at the trailer here, this looks honestly pretty reasonable. But at the same time, like, you know, like, it's being played by someone knows the game probably very, very well. But hey, everyone wants to be the cat, right? That cape is massive, you will trip all over it. But you know, maybe you don't care. You know what, I respect that. That looks rad, that looks rad. I'm, I, I have questions about its structure, like how it works, but I am, um, I don't know, like, what's the word I'm looking for, really? I don't know, interested, I guess, is the simplest form of that sentence. Haikyuu to Robot. Okay, release trailer seems like what you would want from Mr. Morris games. Hey, look at that. That looks super- Oh, I forgot about that, though. you little guy with a sword. Oh, I just love the vibe. You got- Oh, okay. This is very much a Metroid like uh, well, honestly, the vibe I'm getting the most of with that NPC talking there and the chips here. Okay, this is maybe more of a Hollow Knight like, but you also got a Sonic little wheel and that's fun. Maybe it's the vibe. Whoa! Okay. Yeah. So, clearly it's been a while since I've seen the trailer because I don't remember any of this. But this looks super cool. Haiku the Robot. I already got it on. I didn't buy it though, but someone bought it for me. Haiku the robot looks super rad. Like this looks genuinely super cool. Like it, it really does. Like I feel like I'm repeating myself, but like it's, it's just real, you know. Someone made uh, and became a game developer eight games in eight months. And Haiku the robot is part of that. I don't know if that means it. I mean, it looks super polished for something that you might have worked. Well, maybe the other games where we work out systems that end up being used in another game. I could see that working out. Faster than light. I don't know if it's necessary. I don't know if people know what this game is. Well, let's look at it. You can be captain of your starship, and like you make starship like it is a roguelike. You go around. The game gets procedured. That shape of the ship doesn't look very... Well, I don't know, like, which part are you... Okay, the target, so what we saw on the side is the enemy. Yeah, and your guy is the thing that takes up most of the screen, which makes a lot of sense. I feel like a lot of the shapes are weird. I mean, that's a normal shape-looking thing. And you got a big red laser. Your ship. Oh yeah, with the pieces of your enemies. Yeah, raise that power bar. You see, like you got like these weird dips sometimes in the shape. I just think it's funny. This music is entrancing. Bring it aboard! I just I see lines here and there, and I just respond. Yeah, I feel like this game doesn't trailer very well. Like you get an idea of what's going on. Like, this is what a game looks like. Oh no! You got separated. Well, like, this definitely looks like a game that's really cool to, like, play. And, like, yeah, you can see the system. You see how it goes. Get an idea. I don't know. I don't know how people respond to things. But it does look really rad, just, like, as a concept. I don't know why EGN is there in the corner. That's weird. Yeah, that's a pretty old game, isn't it? 2012. I didn't realize it's been so long. But that makes sense, because those were the years where I was, like, listening to a lot of, like, game podcasts and stuff. Which, 
would explain why I would have heard a lot of people talk about it. Like that tracks. Cowabunga. Rated T for T. Rated T for cosmic, comic mischief. It's not cosmic in nature. Yeah, like going straight with the video game music from the arcade, like immediately. Look at that. There's the arcade game, there's the Game Boy game, you saw the NES. Yeah, so 13 video games. Oh yeah, everyone's favorite, the NES Fighter. <laughs> they give you safe states and stuff. Simulated. Everything is emulated. I don't know if they're using like no open source simulation or if they made their own. Like I legitimately do not know. But yeah, you get production production work. And that is just like always super wild. There's a truck. That's what the games look like. Yeah, there's a lot of art styles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. It started off as a parody of like what? Piano? Or like what's his face? The guy whose superpower is that he's blind. I forget his name. But, yeah, like, uh, it started off as a parody of that and just became this absolute institution. But part of it is because the merchandise, a lot of it, was actually good quality. Like, the Ninja Turtle games are actually very playable. I, I don't know how well a lot of the games age. But at the time, at the very least, like, they were genuinely good stuff. Which you might not necessarily expect, but I mean, that's, that, that is the value of, you know, putting the work on your merchandise that people will remember it. And I, I, I think it's absolutely wild. Like, it could have been so more cynical. Here's Spinch. I don't know what to expect. Official trailer. I prefer official over announcement. I prefer launch over official. So let's go with that. Like, you know, it's the... I want the most final footage that I can see. Yep, Jesse Jacobs. This is a spinch. Oh, gee. Oh, okay, now I get it. This reminds me a lot of... This is the ecosystem. That Pachinko game I played as a not Sonic, except good. But at the very least, really an interesting look. These are the babies. Hey, look at that. Like, all of this just looks fantastic. I am, like, digging this. I don't know how well it plays, but... Babies oh, no! Delicious. That's, that's a problem. Why did your young evolve to be delicious to eat? It seems to be a bit of a dead end. Either that, or you're very, very at risk of overpopulation. Like, it can go either way, I guess. Nature finds balance, normally, most of the time. That looks rad. Like, you saw what the game is like, and you see some of the mechanics, good, perfect, love it. So many games in this batch that, like, I, I really want to play. Like, so many of them. It's absolutely wild. This is the end of the video. That's how I end it today.